here's our faces. I'm Burn. I'm Cod. <laughs> and we are the evil geniuses. No, beneficent geniuses who are bringing you the non-fic pod. Um, I first met uh, Georgie through the non-fic meetup, but also she organised a absolute banging festival last year in the middle of lockdown. Can you tell us a little bit about Bookbound? Yeah, well, it was me and, a, and a, a gang of very excellent other writers and book lovers, including yourself, as you've alluded to. Um, Bookbound was uh, at the start of lockdown number one, hopefully one of a very limited number soon. I'm kind of... Let it be know. a trilogy, not like a Doug Adams trilogy that yeah. ends up being parts. Let it just be a trilogy. Let's do the three. Um, and we were raising money for the mental health charity Mind and also Changing Minds in New Zealand by having authors on to chat online about their work, about different subjects, about anything you like. It's all still online. But yes, <laughs> Emma and I, uh, or rather Burn and Cod, we were in an event together with Freya Daly Sadgrove and Poet and we very much enjoyed working together so looks like we're back here again doing more exciting work together. This time this time more locked down era. Um, yeah. yeah you can tell I would for a living. Uh, so if you still want to see the kind of amazing content that COD is responsible for uh, go Google Bookbound 2020 and you will find a host of YouTube videos and podcasts that will bring you not just non-fiction like, uh, <laughs> like Georgie just alluded to, uh, Freya Daly Sagrove, a poet who was on with me. Um, I think our main thing was we were just talking about swearing, weren't we? We did talk a lot about swearing and mental health, but and mental because health. mental health is important. Look after your mental health, everybody. Absolutely, especially during pandemics, mm. uh, but also always. And yeah, who were some of your other, fa obviously, I need to Fave, oh. fave, but who were some of your other faves? <laughs> well, so we had a fantastic event with, actually, this was a non-fiction event. We had Georgina Lawton interviewing, uh, really chatting with Horatio Clare and Sam Mills. And their, their conversation ranged all over the place from class to schizophrenia to misusing Arts Council grants. So I would strongly recommend that. And actually, Georgina Lawton is going to be one of our interviewees in non Pod season one. So she didn't get much of a chance to talk about her own work. I don't think she got any chance to talk about her own work in Bookbound. So it seemed only right to properly get to grips with what she's been working on. Yeah, so please do look out for that episode unless you're a member of the Arts Council funding. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, but we on Nonfic Pod are going to bring you some amazing voices uh, like Georgina's, like uh, Rosie Wilby, uh, Dan Smith, uh, someone called Georgie Cod, who I read her book, it's banging, it's about diving and mental health, it's fucking great, uh, and myself probably talking about swearing or at least using some swearing. So if that sounds like your kind of thing, uh, please do subscribe to the podcast, which is dropping very soon. Mm -hmm. um, follow us on Twitter uh, at nonficpod, uh, and we will let you know when all this is ready to go. And then we have something extra special for people who are able to support us on Patreon and who are absolutely yearning to know about how nonfic gets written, whether you're a nonfiction writer, aspiring nonfiction writer, or just really want to know how the sausage gets made. Um, we'll probably have someone on at some point that has written a book about how sausages get made as well, which would be great. Um, I love sausage chat. Yeah, <laughs> sausage chats are terrific. Mm -hmm. um, that's our different, that's a whole other podcast idea, sausage chat with burn of god um but, but after the main episode we will have a little extra for our um our patrons which is called shit i wish i'd known because mm. uh, whenever you get writers chatting about the process of writing we always end up sharing war stories about stuff we learn just a little too late whether mm. that's finding out about the importance of pre-sales a month a month after your debut has gone live uh or realizing the kind of things that uh one ought to ask an agent before signing up uh these are all the kind of shit that we wish we'd known that we would love to share with you guys um mm. so have a look uh further down our patreon page or maybe it's on the, i have no idea what your screen layout looks like sorry um somewhere on there there'll be a description of our tiers 
And then one last super, absolutely amazing benefit for anyone who is our patron at any level in season one, because you are our founder members. Uh, I have done what I do best in life, which is not parenting or writing, it's designing stupid stickers. Uh, and we've got a really sexy sticker. Um, it hasn't arrived yet, uh, but next time we do a, a video uh, trailer, I will show the sticker because it, it's got brushed aluminium, guys. Oh, God. Being of sexy beauty. So, so luscious. Who yeah. wouldn't want that? Mm -mm. You could stick it on your face, people. You oh, could. I was, I was thinking laptop or other device, but face, face is good. Face is good. Can't guarantee it won't wash off in the shower, um, but it will proudly identify you as a non fic pod foundation supporter um, because, yeah, we love you guys and we we another trailer another trailer uh on this um about the fact that nonfic does not get the love it deserves so yeah come join us in nonfic world where we will meet people who study aardvarks and zoology which is just realized the same thing uh <laughs> Sharks and sex, not at the same time. Swearing and parenting, definitely at the same time. Yeah. Uh, so join us on this incredible adventure. Yes, we can't wait. <laughs> All right. Well, this is non fake Pod with Burn. And God. Ta-da! See you later. <laughs>